you've probably heard of these four nutrients before, unsaturated oils, saturated fats, hydrogenated fats, and trans fats. This video will highlight their differences and discuss what to avoid and why. I'll also try to limit the amount of chemistry knowledge you need to understand this. Let's begin with the healthiest of the group, unsaturated oils. Unsaturated oils are those that you find in plant-based foods, such as seeds and nuts, and fish. At room temperature, they are liquid and are easily digestible because of their chemical structure that contain double bonds within their long fatty acid chains. And as you may have heard, they're healthy for you. We metabolize unsaturated oils into energy and use them to support cell growth. On the other hand, saturated fats are oils that are solid at room temperature. This is the reason why we call them fat instead of oil. Saturated fats are most prevalent in meats. Think of the white fat you see in beef, pork, lamb, and chicken. But they're also found in fruits and nuts, specifically avocados and cashews, but to a lesser degree. As the name implies, saturated fats consist of long fatty acid chains whose carbons are saturated or packed with hydrogen. This is what makes them solid at room temperature. Saturated fats are less healthy for you because of their tendency to raise blood cholesterol levels. However, they too are metabolized into energy and stored in fat tissue. Hydrogenated fats are technically artificial fats that are made through a chemical process known as hydrogenation. In this process, naturally occurring unsaturated oils, the good stuff we discussed earlier, are bombarded with hydrogen gas and are chemically converted into a saturated form. This makes the oil become solid at room temperature, forming what we know as hydrogenated fat. Their consumption, much like saturated fats, are linked to heart complications, so it's best to avoid this nutrient. Food manufacturers rely on this process because using hydrogenated fats increases shelf life, and using these fats is a lot cheaper than obtaining naturally occurring saturated fats. When these saturated oils are only partially hydrogenated, many of the unsaturated oil molecules remain unchanged, which accounts for the liquid state of partially hydrogenated oils versus fully hydrogenated fats. However, a byproduct of partial hydrogenation is the formation of trans fats. Trans fats possess a similar structure to unsaturated oils, except for the way the chemical bonds are oriented. Trans fats have these kinks in the molecule that make them practically impossible to metabolize. Because it's unnatural, our bodies have no use for them. They stay in our bloodstream longer and are a major cause of bad cholesterol. If you want a healthy heart, avoid these as much as you can. Interestingly, the only animal capable of producing trans fats are cows, and this is only because of the bacteria found in their stomach which make the trans fat we find in its meat. That being said, if you ever read the nutrition label for a processed chicken or pork product having trans fat, you know that it's impossible without them having used partially hydrogenated oils. If you like my explanation or have any further questions, use our website mentioned in the description or leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.